Hey child and welcome back to my channel. First of all, long time no see, you know, mother been busy, but it's time to take care of my hair so I can continue to be busy and get these coins. So by now you all know I have a really good working relationship with a brand called Toyo Tress. They make some real good crochet locks or whatever. I've done, I think like two or three installs already, but we getting ready to do another one. Because honey, I'm getting ready to take a vacation and I'll be doing a lot of things, but my hair is not one. All right, it's the Toshiana Curly Locks. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's giving Medusa a little bit, but you know, I'm gonna make it cute. I got them in an 18 inch. And y'all know usually I like my red hair, but because I'm gonna be taking pictures on this vacation, I wanted to, you know, have a little bit of, you know, my little classic black hair. So if y'all wanna see how this turn out on me, keep on watching. And before I go, first off, shout out to Toyo Trust for sponsoring this video because y'all know what sponsorships I get. Donations, donations, gifts. Yes, Lord. Secondly, let's go and get this hair done. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, child. So again, I'm doing the crochet method. I learned how to do this versatile braid pattern from Forever Chrissy and so far if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's the braid pattern I'm always gonna do. So I already did the front, but if you are interested in seeing how I did it, here's a clip right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. Now consider this crochet for dummies because I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible and get this video over with. So number one, make a row. Number two, make a box. Like so, like that. Number three, use some gel. Number four, braid it. But hold on, make sure them edges ain't braided up in there because the last thing you need to do is snatch them on out. Now braid it. All right, so I got about halfway down and I'm gonna swing this sucker back. Now I did a test just to see would it reach this particular box. It will. I don't want to make the braid too thick because then it get hard when you try to crochet it in. So right here is a good stopping point. So here's what we're gonna do. Make another box. Add a little bit of gel. Now you could just go ahead and put all the gel on at once, but honey, you know I got to be extra, but yeah, this is what I'm doing. So, you wanna split this box in half, and take this, this particular braid you just did, use that as the third leg of this braid, and get to platen. Now, I done did me a good little distance. I got me two boxes, so I'm gonna make a third one. Put me a little bit of gel. Split this box in half and use this as the third leg of the braid and plait it down. All right, so we got three little boxes right here. Wasn't that easy? Now go ahead and do that to the rest of the front of your head. Be right back. And voila, that's how I did the front of my hair. The back, I'm literally doing the exact same method that I did last time. So right here, I already have one corn row, well, a bushel of a corn row. I've been very open with y'all and I thank y'all for supporting me and the fact that I'm a black girl who does not know how to braid. Honey, I just got to throw this together and just pray for a miracle. So anyway, here's one of my little miracle plaits and then I did a second one right here. So what I'm going to do is loosen this one up at the bottom, the second one, and split this into two. And I'm gonna swing this corn roll from the first side into it and make it the third leg and just write it on together. Now I'm gonna start another corn roll. I got a section of hair. I'm gonna go ahead and braid it. Y'all don't judge me now. So now that I'm towards the bottom of that, I'm gonna bring this braid and separate it into two. And this extra piece that's already out, I'm gonna swing that over and braid it all together. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these braids off camera. They should all be looping like this at the bottom. And then I'm gonna show you how I seal it at the end. All right, so I have now connected all of my braids together with this one. I ran into a dilemma though. Usually I would use my sewing needle and just sew this down, but look, I can't find it. And guess who's not going to the store to get one, okay? And because I actually, this is just me being candid, I have another hair sponsorship to do not too long after that. I'm not leaving these in long, so I'm gonna just pin it up 
But if you want yours to be more long lasting, make sure that you sew it down. So I'm just taking a pin and pinning this braid to this one. And I'm going to double pin it just to make sure it's in there good and secure. But again, remember, if you want yours long lasting, go into that store, get you a little curved needle and throw that thing on down. So let's go ahead and put these birds in. Now, I am actually using the crochet hook that Toyo Tress gave me, but someone actually suggested using a larger crochet um, needle because the fish hook can be bigger. Right now, I'm content using that, but if you find that you are having a little difficulty with this little latch, get you a bigger one. I'm just gonna roll with this. So, this is the Toshiana Curly Lock, again, from Toyo Tress. The crochet loop is rather small. These are actually very, very soft. If you have time to do like the individual braids, you could do this individually, but honey, mother's busy. That's why I'm gonna go ahead and do this like this. So the way I'm going to do it is go downward, attach the crochet to the hook, close the latch, pull it up, go ahead, open it again, put the end of the lock in, close the hook, Pull it through. And voila, we got a crochet on there. So let's do it again. Right here on this box, I'm just gonna go downward with the needle or a crochet hook or whatever you wanna call the child. Attach the braid to the fish hook. Close that bad boy. Pull it up. And take the end of this Put it in there, close it, and pull it through. We got two. So I'm literally, it's that simple. When I said crochet for dummies last time and I put it in this video clip, that's exactly what it is. This is super simple. So let's go ahead and bye out to this music. I'm gonna put these crochet in. And here is the finished result. I think I used six bags. If you want a fuller look, go ahead and use more. But for me, I was like, I actually like the way this looks, so I stopped here. Now, of course, you can wear it down if you want to, but y'all know I'm the half up, half down queen. So let's do that right now. And that's how I'm gonna wear it just to get some of this hair out of my face. Now, I feel like I'm giving real island vibes, real vacation vibes, which I need because like I said, we're going on vacation and I'm gonna be doing everything except my hair. So, about the actual locks themselves, the Toshiana Curl Lock, I believe, soft to the touch. I did not have to dip it. I didn't have any problem. And like I said, if you wanted to do it individually, like do individual box braids and then crochet, this is soft enough that you can stick the crochet in it. And low key, I actually tried that, but I just didn't have time to complete it. So I was like, no, we're going to go to what I know. So anyway, overall, y'all, I love this hair. A link to the actual braids that I use is in the description box. But Toyo Tress actually does have a lot of other, huh, can I talk? Toyo Trust does have a lot of other options that you can choose from, so just make sure you browse the site. They've been good to your girl, and honestly, the quality of these locks is really, really like chef's kiss. So, let me take it back down so you can see the back, and we can get you on out of here. All right, so we're back down. Let me turn around, let's see it. Let me see it, let me see it, over, let me see it. And that was it. Total install time, I think, was four hours, but most of the time was actually braiding. The actual crochet, super easy. Don't know, I don't know how to braid, I just be like, praying and whatever trying to get together so this is how we came out thank you Toyo trust for sponsoring this video y'all make sure y'all click the link in the description box to check out all the goody goodies and yeah i'm talking about bye y'all